Good morning, Alison Mead from Silicon Bullet here with another uh, bit of advice for bookkeepers. I did my first uh, making tax digital VAT return in Sage yesterday. Woohoo! Um, it wasn't quite as straightforward as I hoped it would be, but if I tell you about my experience, you can learn from it and not have the same problems yourself. So the first step, remember that you have to do is you have to have told HMRC that you're ready to um, submit digitally and you need to do that um, at least 72 hours before you want to submit your first VAT return. Um, the second step, once you've done that and you've received the notification that's gone through, is that in Sage 50 you go into the software, to the preferences, to the VAT tab and you just put a little tack tick in the box to say that you want to do a making tax digital VAT return. Now after that, if you've already experienced in sending VAT returns from Sage, it's exactly the same as normal. Uh, you will go to calculate your VAT return, put the period in. There is one extra little area where you can upload um, documentation copies. Maybe you might have had to put some adjustments in and you want to upload the documents that give you the evidence of how you calculated those. So you can do that. Then when you have, as usual, marked all the transactions as reconciled and confirmed the VAT return, on the next screen, which you would normally then do your journal entries, you then hit submit. Now this is where it changes slightly. So the first time I did this and I hit submit, a second window opened that said, and it said connecting with HMRC, and then I sat there for about 15 minutes with this thing going round and round and round. Something had gone wrong. I gave Sage Support a quick call and this time, first time in ages, I actually got straight through to speak to somebody and they said that this, they'd been getting reports of this problem and all I needed to do was cancel out of Sage, close all the windows and go back in again. So in effect, same IT support as usual, switch it off and switch it on again. I was a bit skeptical that that would work but it did. So I went out of Sage, I came back in, there was my VAT return sitting there pending already, went, double clicked, went back into the screen. This time when I hit submit, it opened an HMRC screen for me. Now in that HMRC screen, you need to know your HMRC VAT uh, credentials, your login and your password, and it will then send you the normal text message that it does now or email or phone call with the six digit pin that you need to put into the next window. It does say that this when you um, it you will then grant Sage access to your uh, HMRC portal so that it can then send the back return. So that's great. I did that and I went back to the next screen and I committed then the cardinal error. I didn't read properly what it said on the screen and it was actually displaying saying which VAT returns you want to do. It was actually uh, displaying um, July, August, September, not April, May, June. So I blindly hit the, the, the submit button without actually checking and of course it failed. I thought, I knew this wasn't going to go smoothly, I knew I'd make a mistake, but it's fine. I quit out the window, I went back in, realised my mistake. So after you've done that approval, it sends you back into Sage and then it has a little display box where it tells you which quarter it's going to do. And all I needed to do was pick April, May, June from the drop down list, then hit submit and it all went through successfully. So there you go. Oh, good morning. Daisy, come on. Daisy, come. Sorry, just walking my dog and another dog went past. So, yes, I uh, so I have made the mistakes, basically, so you don't have to, so you know what to look out for. Um, I have written a blog post about this this week, which will be published on Monday. So once that's published, I will put the link to that that basically gives you some screenshots and tells you what I experienced. But there you go. Uh, that's uh, Achievement Unlocked, first making tax digital um, VAT returns submitted successfully. Uh, if you're getting stuck or you want some advice or you're not confident to do it on your own, then do get in touch. Go to blog.siliconbullet.com for my informational blogs about it and get in touch soon. Bye.